Bridget, pack all those your trousers and short skirts. We are going to burn them. Every part of your body must be sanctified. No more earrings and chains in the Jezebel painting must go. Including this mammy water hair, referring to a Wavon wig hanging on a nail. We are throwing out everything that will hinder you from getting to heaven. When your mother looks down from heaven, make her smile. We will go to the market tomorrow and I'll buy a new set of clothes that people on their way to heaven wear. I'm ready auntie. I will serve God till I die. Hallelujah. Heaven is already rejoicing over you right now. I'm going to kill a chicken to celebrate your repentance from the way of the world. Thank you auntie. Bridget didn't just participate in church activities, she became consumed in it. Every Sunday morning, she sweep the church and clean the chairs. She attend all the services and prayer vigils. There was no day she misses out on any fasting and prayer meetings. She is involved in all the evangelistic outreaches organized by the church. She attends choir rehearsals punctually. Within a few months that she joined her aunt's church, there is hardly anyone who didn't know Sis Bridget. She is the teenager with an unquenchable fire for the Lord. Sis Bridget, you are an encouragement to the teenagers in this church. I'm so proud of you. Thank you, sir. God bless you and reward your labor in this vineyard. Amen, sir. I have called this meeting because I want to address Deborah's issues. Deborah, I don't understand your Christianity. All you know is to be doing Jaja Jaya all over the house and you say you are speaking in tongues. Look at the length of your skirt. I don't even know the shine shine thing you put on your lips. You better go back to the cross. See Bridget, she is a typical example of a lady prepared for heaven. You should. Dear, leave my daughter alone. I like her the way she is. She will not wear that Mary Amaka skirts you are pushing her to wear. She is very moderate and decent. Leave her jar. Haven't you noticed the way she behaves around here? Don't you like this Deborah better than the stubborn child you had two years back? Deborah never messed around with boys, but there was such subtle cruelty that drove people away from her. She got on campus two years ago and returned a different person. Since she returned, she is always awake at night praying or reading her Bible. I wish I have the peace that oozing out of Deborah's life. Why am I not feeling enough? Now that I had failed, I wouldn't be able to get into the university again. I believe God is punishing me for neglecting my mother. I have tried to stay away from sin by doing more for God but somehow I fell short. Bridget is at the cafeteria eating after her tutorial class, when Patrick suddenly showed up. Bridget. Patrick. I got your message. I'm sorry about your mom's death, but was that enough for you to block my number? Let's talk outside. Get into the car, please. Patrick, hi. Bridget, I just want us to talk. I won't force you to do anything you don't want to do. Please take me to your house. Bridget went with Isaiah to his house and they both had sex that day. The following evening, she was back on his bed again. She couldn't couldn't get enough of him and kept returning to him. I can imagine my mother weeping in heaven. I'm seeing the look of disappointment on her face. I know God is writing in a very large book of my sins and the punishments attached to it. Brethren, the choir master will be here shortly. I'm done with God and all his demands. Since he is going to punish me and send me to hell, what's the point trying to meet up with his standards? I just want to die. Let a drunk driver come my path and crush me to death. I'm tired, I don't want to live. Bridget Let's go over to that restaurant. Bridget talk to me. What's the point trying to please God? It's enough that I have lived with the guilt of my mother's death, but I'm trying for goodness sake. Obviously it's not working. I joined the choir. I come early to clean the church. I dress the way God loves. 
I'm trying so hard to get his approval. I've been having sex with my example I'm tired. Bridget, a man can be zealous about the things of God and possess perfectly good moral standards and yet end up in hell. What are you saying? Our righteousness is like filthy rags before God. Nothing you do can make you approved of God. Working on your behavior is a pure waste of time. The only thing God requires of you is that you accept the righteousness that comes solely by faith in Christ Jesus. Nothing more. Nothing else. When you believe with your heart that Jesus was raised from the dead and confess him as your savior, you will be saved. Could it be so simple like that? I could be saved by just having faith in what Christ has done? Yes, we automatically carry the sin nature because of a man Adam. Christ came to deal with that sin nature so we can receive his own nature that grants us direct access to God. You see, the Bible says faith without work is dead but the work you have been doing is from your flesh. You need to allow the Holy Spirit to do the work in you and also direct and help you in the kind of work you should do. The Bible says in Philippians 2.13 For it is God which worketh in you both to will and to work for his good pleasure. KJV NLT says for God is working in you giving you the desire and the power to do what pleases him. You can't please God by yourself except he gives you the ability to do so. So I have been wasting my time trying to be a good Christian and all my efforts had been useless. I would still have ended up eternally damned even if I abstained from sex. Are you ready to accept Jesus Christ into your heart? Yes, I'm ready. Deborah led Bridget to Christ. Bridget, you have a new nature now. All things are new. Are you saying I won't fall into any sinful habit anymore? There is a lot you will have to learn on this journey. Your spirit is one with Christ. The nature you received is Christ and it is perfect and incorruptible. 1 Peter 1.23 clearly states that. However, you're still in a corruptible world and the body you have hasn't changed yet. There will be temptations and your mind must be renewed with God's word consistently. This is what we call growth. If you allow the word transform you, those sinful habits will have no hold over your life. I want to grow. I'm here to help you achieve that. At least, I have few months before my industrial training comes to an end. We'll have a great time together. Bridget, you are born again now. You belong to the family of God. You are joint heirs with Christ. Do not let anybody convince you otherwise not even when your body reacts to sinful desires. I have told you growth is how we step into the realities of the new life we have received. What you believe is the foundation of whether or not you'll continue to struggle with sin. I really have a lot to learn. We'll start this evening. Let's get back to church before the rehearsal comes to a close. Brothers and sisters, it's been a year since I started my journey with the Lord. The best part was the day I stood in front of Patrick and told him boldly that I was done with him. Of course he laughed. He thought it was my usual tantrum and guilt trip. When I didn't show up after some weeks, he came to my tutorial class to plead with me. He stopped troubling me when I preached Christ to him. Do I have it all together? No. But I trust the Holy Spirit who abides in me to continually work out the life of Christ through me. I am just one teen girl learning to live by the faith of the Son of God at work in me. I am learning what my true nature entails. I'm learning the love walk too. I finally got admission to study accounting. This morning, as an favor drove me to the school hostel. I smiled and reminded myself I had not come alone to the campus. The Holy Spirit is right here with me. Christ in me, my hope of glory. Sis Bridget is ready to blow up this campus. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, that's all for this video. If you liked this video, feel free to like it, comment and share with people around you. And don't forget to subscribe to Hope and Dominion Christian Animation Channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. God bless and remember, Jesus loves you.